So today we are actually bathing all the puppies that Dr. D brought back from Fort Yukon and Rampart so they're ready for their adoption event this afternoon. If we can adopt at least three out of four puppies, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get the two little ones to go, but it'd be really nice to find the Huskies' homes. That's why we're putting the extra effort because there are a lot of Huskies out there and these two Huskies really are special. They're socialized, they're really nice dogs. So we're going through the extra effort today to hopefully get all four gone. Come on, sweetie, it's okay. Don't be alarmed. To raise the adoption odds, Animal House paired up with a no-kill shelter called Loving Companions to bring in as many potential families as possible. Hi, I'm Tammy from Loving Companions. I hear you guys are interested in adopting little Susie here? Yeah. OK, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? And uh... We always have a professional here, all the folks from Loving Companions, so we can really screen the people to make sure they really are intent on getting an animal and they really want one. We don't want anyone to be pressured into it because this is a lifelong commitment. I'm a stay-at-home mom, mom, so the dog these. would be with us at all times, go on all errands and go to the park. And... Well, you guys sound like it would be a really nice fit for her. And then I guess you can take her home, OK? <laughs> is it going to be hard for you to let go of her? She's, sweet, <laughs> she's a sweet puppy. Yeah. She's beautiful. Her name is Lucy. So like I suspected, the little ones went like hotcakes. But these two Huskies grew me a lot harder to find homes for. You know, Huskies are a dime a dozen here. They're not trained. They're young teenagers. They are out of control with energy. So it's going to be a lot more difficult to find the right special person for these two. We just moved up here from Washington. So. Cool. They're in Alaska for about a week. They're in Alaska for a week. Oh, how fun. We found a great military family, and they love Coda. Congratulations. But I'm really concerned. It's late in the day, and we still have Kenai. So this is Kenai. She's familiar with kids from her previous owners. Yeah. She's a very nice dog. They have a lot of energy, like kids. So they need to be walked. <laughs> yeah, you're listening. She has to be walked. I know. I walk her. What do you think? Can we keep her, please? Oh, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. No. 